Hello guys, so welcome to another insightful session on my channel. I'm so glad you've made time to join me once again. I'm really excited for this session because it is a much needed, or I mean, I believe you need this session or this, I mean, you know, this interview at this point in time. Um, so quick one, I mean, uh, right now, there is difficulty in securing dates for your F1 visa interview. So without much I do, we're going to just have, I mean, a conversation on how this guy was able to secure a slot in a different country, I mean that is from his domicile country, he was able to get an appointment from a different country, how did he go about it and FYI, he was denied in his own country, so how did he got approved in a different country? This is what we are going to do, so if you are new here, I will please that you subscribe, you like and ask your questions in the comment section and I will be glad to assist you. So tada, energy, energy. <music> So welcome back to this session. So let's take it from there. So um, it is a simple welcome to my humble platform, and I mean, I hope also welcome you. So um, let's take it from there. So um, give us a brief intro. I mean, your name, program you are doing, where you are from, and then let me take it from there and tell us your story. Yeah. Hi guys. Um, my name is Albert Akunwata, and I'm a grad student here at EIU. I'm reading English language uh, with concentration in rhetoric and composition. Uh, I'm from Ghana, as obviously. Yeah, and I'm glad to be on this um, this channel. Yeah. Right. All right. Thank you, Abed, for I mean accepting our invite. So, um, guys, this is my English man. Yes. Yeah, so let's take it from there. So, Abed, uh -huh. So I know you're already denied in Ghana before you proceed, or basically you are the first batch that began um, switching to a different country to um, get your F1 visa. I mean, interview or approved or get your. Let me just basically have your <coughs> interview in a different country. So now, pick one. How did you switch? Okay, or I mean, yeah, how did you switch? How did you go about it? Let's start with the switching because we already know your history, how you were denied in Ghana. We talk about all those stuff, but how did you switch to Cote d'Ivoire to have your interview there? Okay, all right, so before I start, uh, I believe you all know that, um, you know, as um, as a student, you're, you're supposed to go for your interview in the country you live in. Mm -hmm. So what happened was, um, we're all waiting for our interview in Ghana. Sure. Uh, my interview date was in September, mm -hmm. and then I got an email that uh, it has been cancelled. Mm -hmm. So you could just imagine what I was going through. Which year was that? That was last year. 2021. 2021. Okay. Yes, exactly. And then, uh, you know, you have to be in school to, you know, in order to be able to, you know, to... You're supposed to be here in spring, just to make it systematic. So okay. your interview was cancelled in yeah. September, that is in Ghana. Yeah. And it's supposed to be here in the spring semester, right? Okay, so what happened was uh, I was supposed to be in the spring 2020, mm -hmm. and then you know there were no dates, so, so I had to be fair. Yeah, I had to be fair to <laughs> fall 2020, and I couldn't get any dates, so I had to be fair again to so, spring 2021. Yes. So, so, so that means um, two deferrals. Yeah, two deferrals. Okay. So mm -hmm. with the fall 2020. You had secured a date in Ghana. In Ghana, exactly. And then uh, it was cancelled. It was cancelled. Mm -hmm. So I was just home, you know, contemplating what to do. And I was this guy. Um, I mean, he was he was he was very helpful. Mm -hmm. What happened was his I twenty got I mean delayed. Mm -hmm. We we had already you know booked an appointment and we were just waiting. But the dates were far ahead. We're not going to make it. So we're just there waiting to schedule for an emergency. And then. This guy, you know, when his I-20 came in, it was mm -hmm. late in June. That's right. And then um, he felt, you know, he knew what was happening in, in Ghana. Ghana. Yeah. There were no not, dates. Not, and guys, not only in Ghana, yeah. Nigeria, um, other, other, other countries, I mean, Cameroon, Sierra Leone, they are all facing this challenge. Okay. So that is just that, just FYI, not only in Ghana. And please, I will bring in other countries. Pardon me, okay? I will bring other countries as well. So yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so this guy, um, you know, um, knew what was happening yeah so when his i20 came in he knew that ah uh, if he goes and then schedule an appointment he's, he's not going to get it exactly yeah. so he just thought that oh maybe i can just transfer and go to a different country mm -hmm. so he did a switch like he didn't even transfer you know he just applied to agriculture directly Street. yes and, and just to let them know i'm sure it, it was initially it wasn't allowed yeah it wasn't it yeah. wasn't so uh he he went to ivory coast and then he got his visa so when he got his visa then you know he informed us, oh, guys, you know we can just go to Ivory Coast and have your interview. Mm -hmm. So what happened was we already had our, we already booked, you know, 
our appointment in, yeah. in Ghana. Yeah. So what what will happen is what we have to cancel that mm -hmm. and then transfer it to Ivory Coast. That's right. Yeah, so it was a, a different ball game, you know, we had to call the embassy. embassy. Yes, we had to, you know, we had to tell them that oh so initially we thought it was it wasn't right, it wasn't something that mm -hmm. is allowed. So you have to come up with excuses, you have to you know frame up excuses. Exactly. Yeah, actually. So uh and then <laughs> Yeah, the embassy knew about it, about it. It was super chill about it because they yeah. knew that. So the process was very smooth. Yeah, it was very smooth. smooth. Yeah, they were they were willing to help. So was it that you called the embassy to cancel your appointment in Ghana, or it was cancelled and you had to just call the Ivory Coast embassy that this one is happening with the Ghanaian embassy for them to just switch? And how was yeah. it that? Okay, so first of all, you need to be sure that you know the country you're you're transferring to mm -hmm. will receive you. So that means you have to follow up from that country. Exactly. First. Yeah. So. Uh, some of us called, others emailed. Mm. So when we sent an email, the response was that, um, yeah, you can go ahead and transfer, Thanks, but we can't, you know, um, we can't guarantee that you're going to get a date. That's right. That was what he, he said. But, okay. <laughs> but we actually, that. yeah, but you actually got dates, you know. Okay. I request was way better. Okay. So that means for the first step, if you have not already booked an appointment in your domicile country yeah. and you already know the current circumstance mm -hmm. what will happen is that you just i mean book the appointment in that country straight exactly. forward. you don't have to just go and now book an appointment request for emergency in the whole country mm -hmm. struggle before later you go to let's say sierra leone yeah. uh, book in liberia or book in Cote d'Ivoire. Yeah. but right away if you're in nigeria just consider yeah. any other country then we then if you already booked and you are struggling with date hunting you would have to get your I mean your appointment cancelled by calling the Ghanaian embassy, right? Yeah. Then you switch or transfer. So yeah. now let's come to the MRV. You have to did you have to pay MR I mean the payment system. How was it done? Yeah. Okay, so um MRV. Yeah, you know yeah. the MRV is not transferable. That's right. Yeah, so in Ghana, because we are already paid and we have we had our dates, now when we cancel them we, we, we transfer to Ivory Coast, we have to mm -hmm. pay a different I mean a new MRV in Ivory Coast. That's right. So um there's um, a GT bank in Ivory Coast, mm -hmm. so that was a new. I mean, it was a new. I mean, it was another challenge because mm -hmm. uh, you need someone to pay it for you mm -hmm. because uh, you need to pay it, and then maybe two or three days. I don't know. Like you have to wait for some time mm -hmm. for it to reflect before you can book for an appointment. That's right. Exactly. So you need someone in Ivory Coast to pay, to pay for you. For you. Yeah. And then just to cut costs because you can't go there. You have not already secured a date, mm -hmm. so you can't go and stay there and pay and exactly. wait like your home country. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, and then um, you know um, we had issues with sending the money even to the person in Ivory Coast mm -hmm. because well we heard that you know Western Union you can't send money from Ghana to I mean a different African country. It was it was a bit strange. Okay. Yeah, we couldn't send it by Momo as well. Why? Yeah. So. <laughs> So some of us got lucky, we knew people in Ivory Coast, so we just made them pay it for us. And then there are others that had to pay, you know, they had to send the money to someone at the border, mm -hmm. you know, the Elibo border. Mm -hmm. And the person would just, you know, send it to Ivory Coast, like to another yeah. person in Ivory Coast and then pay it. So. Yeah, so that is basically that. So now quickly, let's come to the second phase or the third phase. Um, when you go to, I mean, the Cote d'Ivoire, I mean, not only Cote d'Ivoire, I'm just talking about, I mean, we are just expanding extensively. But when you go to Cote d'Ivoire, the experience quickly, just sum it up, I mean, as, an, as, a, as a new, I mean, let's say a foreigner in that different country, how do you go about it? I mean, uh, basically talking about the hotel accommodation, all, I mean, those stuff, how do you go about it, securing those sorts, I mean, just that. Okay, so one thing is, in Ivory Coast, uh, I lived in Ivory Coast for a very long time, so oh. yeah. So, but so in Ivory Coast, there are a lot of Ghanaians in Ivory Coast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I mean, there are cities in Ivory Coast, like you have we have Kumasi in Ivory Coast. You know, mm -hmm. we have uh, Trashville. So in Trashville, there are a lot of Ghanaians out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there, there's this um, Metro North Station. Okay. Yeah. So that uh, is like a Ghanaian station. Yeah, a Ghanaian station. Uh, there's actually a bus from, I think, Circle straight to, to Abidjan. Abidjan yeah and then that's, that bus goes to that station so you get a Ghanaian community there exactly so that station has like a hotel okay yeah so most of the guys I knew that's where actually, they lodge yeah that's where they lodge okay yeah. okay so to to keep it very succinct mm -hmm. I mean so that means that if you are coming from Nigeria you'll get a, a Nigerian community there that will receive you to help you or, uh, 
basically that, right? That is don't if, know of if, Nigeria. Nah, yeah, but, but if you're lucky, you're lucky. Yeah. If you're lucky, you're going to meet people. <laughs> but um, yeah, again, so those guys who went to the the station, mm -hmm. yeah, because it's a Ghanaian station. Like, yeah, we see yeah, there were Ghanaians out there, like there were Ghanaians there. So if you need, let's say, if you need to buy food. You just tell them. You know, I don't want to limit it to Ghana alone because yeah. people watch me. I have a lot of, I mean, followers from different countries. Okay. So basically, you have to try and find the country you're coming from, a community, if not community, someone just to receive you. That's what I'm trying uh, to do. But yeah, that will be easy because yeah. I mean, you don't know the person you're yeah. going to meet. Is it is a person a good person, a bad person? Yeah. You don't really know. But or if you are rich, you can just book a hotel. Yeah, is that <laughs> yeah? So some guys just booked a hotel. That's you know, it. I know yeah. a guy, uh, Ben. Yeah. He booked a hotel in a different place. He didn't even that's come it. to the Ghanaian, the Ghana, yeah. Yeah, the Ghanaian yeah. place. So yeah, that's good. that's interesting. So quick one. Now to the main thing. So now you have already been denied. Which year was that? Uh, in 2019. 2019. And you are going for a visa interview again 2021 in a different country. Mm -hmm. What was your inspiration and what changed? Okay. So uh, during my first... Okay, sorry. Before that, what was, your, what was your profile in 2019? Were you having funding? Because normally people want to know, were you having funding? Your, your brief brief profile, and what do you believe attributed to your denial? Okay, uh, so in Ghana, um, yeah, I, I didn't have funding in my first, you know, mm -hmm. attempt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I went for the interview, and uh, I guess that was the reason why I was denied. Mm -hmm. Sufficient funds. Yeah, okay. funds and stuff like that. And then um, when I went to Ivory Coast, I had funding this time around. So that was one thing, that one key thing you can say changed in your Yeah, profile. one key thing. Mm -hmm. And then um, I won't say that was mainly I mean, the main reason because I know guys who didn't have funding were you approved. Know, were approved yeah. in Ivory Coast. Yeah. It's just that I don't know. We, <laughs> well, in the beginning, we thought that Ivory Coast is way easier, you know. Mm -hmm. Ivory Coast is just accepting anybody. So. Little on most. This yeah. was different. I guess, I guess so because. Yeah. Well, in, initially, I mean, if you, even if you don't have funding, then you go into Ivory Coast and it's like, you have good credentials. Yeah, exactly. You have good credentials, you have genuine reasons. Mm -hmm. You can, I mean, you can explain, you know, why you want to go and study in the US. They, they approve you. Okay, so now you've just informed us, I mean, basically, we can see your funding changed and also you, you improved on the, upon your preparation. Mm -hmm. So let's start from, I mean, uh, Question and I, 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 you've already, you've already, I mean, had a brief discussion, but I know you already asked a question like, um, why are you coming for, why are you coming for your visa interview in a different country? Mm -hmm. That is a basic question. I'm sure the guys received. So how did you guys prepare for that question? Mm -hmm. Because a lot of viewers who are planning to go to different countries are going to experience that. How do you advise them? Then we come to your main interview. Just sum it up for us. So two, I mean, two questions. Here. Yeah. Yeah. So. So right now, last year, a lot of guys, you know, traveled, you know, they went for the interviews in mm -hmm. different countries. Right. Yeah, so they already know the reason why you're coming. That's right. Right now, they already mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. They already know that uh, there are no dates, you know, some yeah, countries. Yeah. That's right. So when you go, I'll, I'll, I'll advise you that you say the truth. Be sincere. Yeah, be sincere. Just say, tell them that, oh, that there are no dates in, in my country. And then, yeah, I just thought that I should transfer here. Yeah. So yeah. you told me about just to add up, I mean, make it, to make it more interesting, to mm -hmm. spice it up. You said some people went and they lie that they, they, they have some companies that they have come to. Yeah, <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. Share that, share that. Yeah, so I know someone that said that, oh, um, his uncle mm -hmm. is an Ivory Coast. Mm -hmm. And then he just visited and felt, you know, he should just have the interview there. And that was a lie. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> another person just said that, I mean, you're coming for uh, an event. It's like a company event or something. And then, a, a business seminar, something yeah. like that, and uh, he decided to have the interview there. Uh -huh. Yeah, and then they just they just ignored. They ignored. Yeah, but okay. if they really you know meant to find out, they're probably gonna ask for proof. Proof. Yeah. Yeah, that's and that was really complicated. So don't wait and say something that you can't substantiate. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, I advise that. You just so basically, if you see it, yes, yeah, exactly. there is the scarcity of getting date in your I mean, domestic country. Yeah. That's why you've come to yeah. their end. So quick one. So now to your main interview, what do you, to reflect? I mean, I know they are the basic questions, but what are some of the substantial questions you will fish out to help those who are watching us? I mean, specific ones that maybe let's say, why school? What is the perspective of answering? Why this school? The perspective of answering. I mean, how are you going to finance this program? What is your perspective about? I mean, what really happened? Yeah. Okay, so my interview of 
I really prepared that that is true but mm -hmm. um you know sometimes you prepare and then you go there and it's like it's like uh you're so nervous that you can't really express yeah, because what you've already been yeah. denied before exactly <laughs> if, you, if you've been denied, denied before mm -hmm. it's like <laughs> it's i mean if you've been denied before you understand what i'm trying to talk about yeah you get there and it's like that whole experience you know Stretching. comes back yeah. yeah so i got there and it's like I, I couldn't even say you know the things i was supposed to say <laughs> and I, I would say that i mean i was very lucky I'm, I'm, i was very lucky yeah so i just they asked why why you know my school mm -hmm. why did i apply to my school and then you know you basically talk about the fact that i mean the the course the program you know will help you know with your career you know with your conditions you know stuff like that mm -hmm. and then um yeah but you just need to you know prepare you know mm -hmm. just have to be, you, need, you need to have a plan mm -hmm. like a theme exactly. for the respective answers not yeah. to cram it yeah you have yeah. to have a plan like mm -hmm. so they want to know that there's a plan like you're coming to school you're coming to read this program what would that program do for you, for you. that's right like you know stuff like that so sometimes you want to uh stress you know stuff like anything that is going to just basically uh, Prove your credibility as a, as a legit student. Exactly. That is, that yeah. is that. Yeah. All right, Albert. So this has been an interesting conversation. We don't want to extend it that far. Um, I'll, I mean, I will leave his link. I mean, link and also any other means through which you'd want to connect with him for some extensive questions, and he'll be glad to assist you and myself too. Uh, please, right now, I'll prefer email. Yeah, I'll be glad to respond to you. So that is basically that. So, what are your final words for those preparing for the interview um, application in general? Your final words for them? Okay, so um, I'll say that I'm a Christian, so I'll just tell you to add God. Like, prepare, yes, prepare, but add God. Because um, sometimes you just go there, you can just prepare, you know, all you want, but you get there, it you just mess, mess everything up. Yeah, yeah it, it is God that is going to help you. But you know, just go there, feel free. Just there are people, you know, people, you, there are also people there. They know yeah. that you get nervous and everything, but mm -hmm. just go there, feel free, relax. You're going to be free. You're going to be fine. Yeah. 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 So, guys, thank you so much for making time to join me. So, um, in my subsequent series, we'll be coming your way with some insightful sessions, aside the white, white paper series. You know, it is what it is. I mean, what I'm saying. So, stay tuned. Thank you once again. Tada! Peace out.